G'day guys, well this weekend we're fishing the Glenelg River near Nelson. We've got the swag and everything in the boat. You're going to sleep in the boat tonight, try to get a mulloway. Haven't caught a mulloway here before, but I've tried plenty of times, so I'd always lose them. But this weekend, hopefully, my luck turns around. Early morning start on the Glenelg River. I slept in the boat last night in the swag. It was actually pretty comfortable, it wasn't too bad at all. Had a bit of a fish, but only got small brim. No runs from mulloway, so I'm just going to try this cliff face down here again. Uh, flick some plastics around, probably some unweighted baits, maybe later put out a rod for a mulloway, but try a bit of everything, see what works. It's a bit windier today, it was a really nice night last night, but it's like a bit of a change coming through. Anyway, let's get started and see what we can do. Put out a bait rod for mulloway, just for a pilchard and a piece of chicken on a paternoster rig, and I'm going to flick some plastics at this cliff face. Just a little Z-Man grub, pretty light jig head, and a bit of glowworm scent. See what we can do. It's worked in the past, I haven't tried it for a while. It don't come here that much, but we'll give it a crack, see what we can do. Got one. <laughs> First cast. That's good fun. Felt like a good fish too. What is it? Fine up a bit. What do we got? Hey, it's an EP. Yeah, beauty. Nice little EP. Beautiful EP. Happy with that. Not plastic. Jumped out of the water and everything. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. Really nice looking fish to perch. Really nice perch. And the Z-Man grub and glowworm scent. Well after that SG perch, I haven't been able to get any other fish on the plastic. Haven't even had any hits. The current's really strong. So I'm still gonna flick the plastic around this cliff face. I'm going to drift an unweighted um, Koenig Park night crawler down as well. Actually, I might just put a little running sinker in it. See if that works. Bit of glowworm scent. Try a new spot. Struggling a bit now. Started off good. A bit quiet. See if this spot's any better. Man Zephyr caught him here last year. Looks alright. Getting a bite now. Hopefully it's a good fish. So many little ones around. Tiny. Uh, might not be so tiny. Might be alright. Just waking up. What is it? Little brim. Not too bad a fish. Not too bad. If anything, it's a really nice spot to fish. Peaceful. Really good. Getting a few fish, nothing out of control, but getting a few fish every five minutes or so. Lots of little brim. Should be some decent ones about though. Still got a mulloway rod out just in case. So fishing one mulloway rod and one brim rod. Try here for another half an hour or so. I might try Another spot just further down river. So many little ones about. Might be time for a shift. Not a 
not a bad dream. Getting bigger. Thank God. He's a legal brim, but I'll let him go. Don't really need him. Some glowworm scent. Yeah, it's watched on the active target. I can see some fish there. He's got it right on his nose. Now a little brim, I reckon. Well, you're not too bad. At least we're catching something. Beautiful little fish. Nice. Brim. <laughs> He's a good fish. Nah, he just felt big. Good fun on the plastics. A rescue perch. You beauty. Love these little guys. Beautiful little fish. There's a seal up there. Unbelievable. Let's see if he comes up again. about this one. <laughs> what is it? Probably a bit better. Hopefully. What do we got? Uh, not a bad little spot here. Probably a better perch. Better brim. He's a nice brim. Beautiful. Got him. <laughs> so much fun on the plastics. It's an EP. <laughs> nice. Nice little EP. Seal. Not too bad. Better in shallow water too. It's pretty shallow right here. Beautiful. Nice brim. Under something good here. Peel to heap a line off the reel anyway. Might be a big mullet. A bit of fight. What about a little spot here? Water's so dirty. Fish don't seem to mind. Good brim, I think. That's the best brim of the trip so far. Yeah, edible. Happy with him. Good bite on that rod. Okay, you might have hooked. 
Get that fish. Oh yeah. That's a decent rim I reckon. Hopefully. Uh, just a fighter. They fight harder in this shallow water. Respectable. Nice brim. Beautiful brim. Getting a few together now. Caught quite a few brim now. Let heaps go. Probably caught probably seven legal ones and a stack of tiny little ones and a few SG perch so it's been good so far nice brim but we'll let him go using a simple running sinker rig, light line about eight pound, small ball sinker to a bead, stops the knot getting damaged by the sinker, little swivel, just fluorocarbon leader about eight pound, little circle hook and a scrub worm or a night crawler, just singly hooks like that. I'm using the striker's glow worm scent. That seems to be working really good today. All I'm doing just flicking it out the back. Any likely looking areas like that. Put it in the holder. Has a real in gear. An fish will take off and hook itself with a little bit of tension on the drag. Not too much. Like that. Perfect. Well, I've pulled up to this spot. I'm going to swag it here tonight and try my luck for a mulloway. One bloke lost a mulloway here last night and got a few brims, so they're about, it's promising. Uh, at the moment I'm just fishing one brim rod and I'm going to fish one mulloway rod. If I start getting confident that I'm going to catch a mulloway, which I'm not really confident just yet, I'll put out two mulloway rods, but the brim rods just to give me some fish in between waiting for the mulloway. Anyway, let's hope for the best and see what happens. I'm just fishing one brim rod with a worm and I'm going to use two half pilchards on this rod for a mulloway. See what happens. Fingers crossed. I'm not overly confident but I'm having a crack. That's all you can do. There's roughing it and there's this swag set up ready for the night. Not a real lot of room to move but it's not as bad as it looks. It was manageable last night. I slept all night in the boat, tried for another way. Couldn't get one. Plenty of brim though, no shortage of brim. Beautiful night for it, it was really good. I've just taken the swag out of a boat and put it in the car so there's a bit more room. And now I'm just going to go brim and mulloway fishing on that flats area I fished yesterday. Anyway, beautiful morning for it. Prime time now, let's get into it. Got a good fish on there, I reckon. Big brim. It might just feel big because there's a bit of current at the moment too. Not too bad though. Oh, there's one on the other rod. Fish. fish in the flats paid off. It's only shallow water here. I thought the brim would come in here to feed in the morning. Nice fish. Some nice brim down here. Oh, that other rod's going. Here he comes. 
Jeez, I know. They're not massive, but they're not bad, Brim. Got him. Probably the best brim of the trip so far. Beautiful. Here's a good brim. Really good brim. Man's FOI is called a big brim. The blue nose. All the big ones got a blue nose. Beautiful. It's on these flats, just using a light running sinker. And a scrub worm just hooks singly on a circle hook like that. And a bit of his striker's glow worm scent. That's all I'm doing. Got a light barely trail. Just some chook pellets. Change spots, it's gonna be the last spot for the trip. It's a spot where me and Zephyr have caught Big Brim before. And we've just hooked up a nice one. The current's running pretty strong though, so it makes the fish feel a bit bigger than what it is. It went a bit quiet at the other spot. Here's a nice brim. I'll let him go though. Really nice morning for it. Beautiful morning. Fish for another 20 minutes or so. And we'll go in I reckon. Beautiful fish. Well, it's been a productive weekend of brim fishing. Um, got a few nice estuary perch too on bait and soft plastics, but couldn't get a mull away again. I'm just going to fish for another 10 minutes or so, then I'm going to head in. Uh, it was a pretty good trip. Pretty different um, sleeping in the boat, swagging in the boat. And it was a pretty quiet weekend without Zephyr being able to come because he's got braces put on recently and um, his mouth was a bit too sore to come. I'm just getting another bite, but I reckon this will be the last fish for the trip. Anyway, better get this fish and um, catch us on the next adventure. <laughs>